Okay, awesome. Your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Kristen. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for our special candlelit yoga. Um, just to make sure that you have everything that you need for tonight. I'm not sure if a candle actually made it into the email. So if you do have a candle that you'd like to light, turn the lights down, kind of set some ambiance, go ahead and grab that now. Um, the other things that you'll need for this class are a designated mat or a designated floor space or a yoga mat, um, a blanket and or towel, a strap, a belt, a tie, anything in that realm. Um, for those of us who are prenatal, particularly in the second or third trimester, definitely grab a yoga block or a pot with some height, um, and then a longer couch cushion, or just a few blankets or towels rolled up together nice and tight that'll kind of act as your makeshift bolster if you don't have a bolster at home already. Um, we did send out a Spotify track this evening so instead of a playlist it's just a track go ahead and uh press repeat on that it's going to be a lovely singing bowl thing so just make sure that that's going repetitively or feel free to practice in silence or use your own music if you're joining us in the future after we record this um okay so what i'd like you to do is to stand up we're going to start this evening standing and the reason for that is because this class today is about working with gravity. So we're going to start a little bit more active, a little bit more upright. So we've been working with gravity, we've been in weight, we've been moving around all day. And then we're going to slowly let our bodies melt down towards the mat. So bring your hands to heart center, bring your thumb down towards the center of your heart. And find a comfortable position with your feet, whether underneath your hips a little bit wider if that feels good, maybe a little bit closer together feels better for you today. Just listen to what your hips are asking for. Take a slight bend of your knees, roll your shoulders a couple of times. Just let your body acclimate to this space, acclimate to this moment. And then very slowly begin to rest your eyes either halfway down or allow your eyelids to close completely. Feel your feet pressing down against the ground. We'll start to focus on the four corners of your foot. So starting with your big toe, making a diagonal line all the way to your outer heel. So pressing down against your big toe and then back into your outer heel. As you find these access points, feel what that starts to do to your legs. Where that lights up and activates your legs and where that activation starts to glide all the way up through your body. Feel to what happens when you press into these two corners of your feet. And then pressing into the pinky toe side of your foot. Diagonal line down through the inner heel. So pinky toe to inner heel. Keep maintaining those first points, big toe to outer heel. And then we're adding now pinky toe to inner heel. So just feel that cross section in the middle of your foot. You feel those four corners rooting you down against the floor. So there's a slight buoyancy in your knees. You don't want your knees to lock at any point. And that's pretty standard for a lot of us that have it. So just keep reminding yourself, and I'll remind you as well, to find that buoyancy. And your next breath in, imagine you can find the breath from the floor beneath you, rising up through the soles of your feet, all the way up to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, release the jaw. <sighs> imagine that the breath was leaving out through the soles of your feet. So coming in through the soles of the feet, up to the crown, Exhaling from the crown all the way out through the soles. As you continue to breathe, letting your body and your mind fill with air, and just listening into the sound of my voice.
So as we come to this practice later in the evening, with the lights down low, we are beginning the process of bringing our rhythm and our vibration back to ourselves away from our external environments. So utilizing the practice of yin, restorative, all of this is very much tied to working with gravity. Whenever you inevitably feel your mind starting to wander, feel your body starting to want to pitch it, to remember that this is normal, but that the real practice here is not what your body is doing, it's what your mind and what your breath are doing. So as you're standing here, and you're imagining your breath moving in from the soul up to the crown, from the crown and out through the souls. Your practice has already begun. So just notice, what did that feel like? Where is your mind going? Where is your breath going? And can you allow your practice to begin even in this tiny little simplicity? Simply breathing in and breathing out. Next time you breathe out, place your hands over your shoulders. So gently resting the tips of your fingers on the heads of your shoulders. Spread your elbows wide to the center of your chest, spreading out. Remember, if it's a little too far away, if it's a little too challenging to reach your shoulders, you can just lift your arms up in space, just press your fingertips together. Again, find that slight buoyancy in your knees. And on your exhale, lower your chin down and towards your chest. Again, letting gravity find the skull. Imagine that there were weights from the tip of your nose, tip of your chin, center of your forehead, guiding your face, the front of your head down towards the floor. And as you breathe in, Send all of that breath to the back of your spine. Imagine that you could separate the vertebrae with the power of your breath. On your next inhale, slowly rolling your ear over to your right shoulder. Lower your left shoulder away from your left ear, really lengthening out the left side of you. Bring the chin down towards your chest. Start to roll your ear over towards the left now. Lower your right shoulder away from your right ear. Like and then bringing your chin back towards center. Again, find that buoyancy in your knees. Inhale to roll to the right. Exhale through center. Inhale to roll to the left. So now start to work with your inner rhythm here. Using the pace and the rhythm of your breathing, pace and the rhythm of your breath. And if you like, you can even roll your head along the back of your shoulders. Just make sure that your shoulders are rolling down. So to imagine this feeling of your skull as if it were rolling along the rim of a bowl. So no need to push or pull. Feel that rim, that invisible rim, that invisible axis. And then you're going to roll in that direction. The next time that your chin moves down towards the center of your chest, pause and then start to reverse that roll. Just 
Keep finding the breath. And let the breath be the impetus for each of your movements. And the next time that your chin moves towards your chest, pause. Again, find that sensation of gravity, of free weights towards the center of your forehead, tip of your nose, tip of your chin. And then slowly lower your hands down, palms facing forward. Find that bend in your knees, and as you exhale, begin to feel the face gently descending down towards the ground. Feel your torso spilling out from your hips. As you continue to bend your knees, feel your fingers reaching towards the floor or hands spilling onto the floor. Now at this point, if you need a little more space in your hips, this is a great time to open your stance just a little bit wider. And now from here, we're going to move into an exercise or practice known as filling the cup. If you've taken classes with us before, you're really familiar with this. So if you've done this before, just listen to the sound of my voice. If you're new here, I want you to start to again root down through your feet, take a slight bend of your knees. Now leading with your tailbone on your next inhale, so to feel your pelvic bowl swing forward as your spine begins to roll and grow up towards the ceiling, that is the very last thing to come up. So the shoulders sink into place and then lift the nose slightly. So open up your airways, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bow the head forward. Again, find those weights, forehead, nose, and chin. Slight bend of the knees as you begin to roll the spine forward and down. Your knees bent, keep your torso acting like water, pouring down, all the way down, even further than you think you can go. Press into your heels again, slowly, inhale. Begin to lift back up. Lower the shoulders, tip of the nose reaches high. As you exhale, again, chin into chest. Find the three weights of the chin, nose and forehead, the face, the torso begins to pour down. And continuing to listen to the sound of my voice, but peeling off into your own breathing and moving with it. When we work with these steady somatic movements, we are able to bring the mind into a state of neutrality. Not necessarily a space of focus, simply a resting place for the thoughts to not necessarily even take root, just the thoughts to exist. So the body is moving in tandem with the breath. And this is an excellent centering exercise. Again, we're working with gravity, starting to feel that gravitational pull each time we exhale out and down. Each time you find yourself in your exhale, see if you can release a little bit further down at the bottom, coming to full emptiness before you press into the heels and grow back up with your inhale.
in the next side, but you find yourself exhaling down. Again, returning to that deep sense of gravity. Take a moment here in this easy forward fold, knees bent, torso spilling forward and down. Take another deep breath in. And on your next exhale, bend your knees, walk your hands forward, and then come into a tabletop pose. So this is where our props come in. Make sure that your strap, your belt, your tie is nearby, as if somewhere handy. And then we're going to go ahead and take our blanket or our towel and place that right underneath so that we have a padding for our knees. And just make sure that your blanket or towel is lined up in line with your shin bones and that there aren't any disturbing or just you know, mentally distracting lumps. And make sure you have a clean slate to work with. Place your hands underneath, and then starting in a tabletop pose. Letting this be easy. So normally we talk about pressing our hands down, feeling the earth pressing back up. Instead of pressing, I just want you to simply breathe here. And again, connecting to your exhale. As you exhale, feel the center of your palms gently root down towards the ground. The tops of your feet gently move down towards the ground. And feel the navel gently reach in towards the spine. So zero effort here. You may feel some effort in your arms, some effort in your legs, but that's the natural effort. That's just what happens when we put our body in a position. Resist the urge to press, resist the urge to really push in this pose. Just simply feel. A couple of breaths here on your own. Before we move into our sequence here, if you already feel that this is challenging for your wrist, you have a few options. You can walk your hands out a little bit, just opening your table up, or you can fold your yoga mat or take a, grab a duck with blankets and just give the heels of your hands a little bit of height. Okay, so just know that you have those options if at any point you need them. At the top of your toes, and again, locating the tailbone, the pelvic bone, on your inhale, start to tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Feel your spine undulate forward, lifting the crown of the head high. As you untuck your toes, again, leading with the tailbone, exhale. Press the upper spine to the ceiling, chin in towards your chest. On the inhale, tuck the toes, lift the tailbone high, slowly undulating forward, crown of the head lifts. Untuck the toes. Exhale, arch the spine, chin in towards your chest. And just keep moving with the rhythm of your breath. Again, returning your body, returning your mind back to your vibration. Not anything external, nothing that you saw today, not your job, not your to-do list, not the chores that you haven't quite checked off yet. Just let your breath, let your body bring you back to yourself. The next time that you breathe through your cat, your arched position, chin to chest, return back to your tabletop pose. Just lengthening down through the trunk of the body, shoulders back, rooting down through the center of the palms. And then we'll add a gentle movement into this sequence of opening and closing. So again, starting with the toes tucked, 
And then through the tailbone, inhale. So roll the chest open, lifting the head high. Untuck the toes. Exhale, tailbone under, arching the spine. This time, inhale back to neutral tabletop and lift your right hand. Glide it behind you, up overhead. And then place it down, exhale back into seat. Tuck the toes, inhale through your cow breath. Open the chest, lift through the crown. Untuck the toes, exhale. Curling the chin in, open through the upper back. As you inhale to tabletop, glide the left hand behind you, up, overhead, and exhale back into tabletop pose. So do that one more time together. Tuck the toes, lift the tailbone, inhale, roll the chest forward, lift the head up. Untuck the toes, exhale, arch the spine, chin to chin. Inhale, reach the right arm back, up, overhead and down. And exhale, reach the to it. Tuck the toes, inhale, open the chest, lift the head. Exhale, untuck the toes, chin to chest. Inhale, reach the left arm back, up, overhead and down. Exhale, reach your table. And you'll start to take this with your own rhythm. So listen to the wisdom of your breath. See if you can extend your exhale just a little bit deeper each time you breathe out. Again, we're working with gravity here. We'll start to notice where gravity begins to express itself at the bottom of your exhale. And then even out the sides, take this two more times, one on each side. Tuck the toes, deep breath in, roll the chest forward, lift the head, untuck the toes, exhale all the way back, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the right arm out, up and over. And then exhale to press just the right fingertips down. So you're reaching a little bit further forward so that you can see me. We're going to do is lower down to our left forearm and then bring the left hand a little bit towards center so that you're slightly at an angle. And then notice that your body is immediately either collapsing to the left or too much pressing over to the right. You may want to open your knees up just a little bit wider to find a firm base here. So two options. You can either stay right here 
work on pressing your fingertips against the floor, or you can reach your right arm behind you and rest your right hand on your lower back. So whichever you choose, either fingers resting against the floor or hand on your lower back, Roll your shoulder away from your ears. Feel your navel reaching in towards your spine. And just feel gravity here. So gravity is occurring in this moment. Because there's a little bit of balancing happening. So as a collective, we'll exhale everything out with an H-A. Inhale, one. Exhale, ha. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. Keep pressing into your left hand and elbow. Inhale, four. Exhale. And inhale, five. And exhale. If your hand is on your lower back, reach your right fingertips forward. Slide your right hand underneath your shoulder, left underneath your shoulder. Returning back to your version of tabletop, whether that's a little bit open or underneath the shoulders. Again, tuck the toes, lift the tailbone. Inhale, gliding through. Untucking, exhale, arching back. Two more times at your own pace. And then breathing into the tabletop pose. So again. Reaching the left arm all the way back, gliding it out, up and overhead. Pressing the left fingertips down, lowering down to the right forearm. Bringing the right hands towards the center so that your right arm's at a bit of an angle. Opening your knees just a little bit wider and again, making that choice, either keeping your fingertips here, kind of like a kickstand, or reaching your left hand to your lower back. So again, working with gravity in a very different way here. We're feeling it, we're breathing with it. It's trying to pull us down. There's a slight tension, a slight resistance. Just notice if your mind's trying to wander. Notice if your body's trying to get out here. Just keep bringing your experience back to the exhale. And as a collective, we'll all breathe out from each A. <sighs> Inhale, one. Exhale, ha. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale. Inhale, four. Exhale, keep pressing down. Inhale, five. And exhale, with your hands on the lower back, reach your left fingertips forward, and then slide the left hand under the shoulder, right under the shoulder. Tuck the toes, find your version of tabletop. Inhale to roll the chest forward. Exhale, arch the spine up, chin to chest. Inhale, rolling forward. And exhale, arching. So to walk the hands back towards your knees, cross your ankles, either sit back or sit off to one side, then come to sit flat against the mat. Now moving your blankets out from the mat, blanket or towel, we're going to open that up into a larger rectangle and start to roll that up. a bit of a long cylinder. Bring the soles of the feet together, opening the knees out wide. Placing the blanket on top of your feet and then tucking underneath your ankles. Okay, so this will 
keep your knees from extending too far out. This will offer support to anybody who has limited flexibility. So now we can play with the position of the diamond of our legs. You can bring this out a little bit further if you notice that you're sloping forward, sloping back. If you'd like to have a little bit, you can keep bringing them in if you'd really like to work on flexibility, opening here in the inner thigh, in the inner thighs. Bring your hands to the floor. Feel the fingertips rooting down. And then again, bow your head. Imagine those three weights from the center of the forehead, center of the nose, center of the chin. Finding that bottom of the exhale, that gravitational pull that occurs as the lungs empty. When you feel your body moving out of that space of resistance, more towards the space of surrender. They're staying here. We're beginning to walk your hands forward either towards your shins or around your toes. And continuing this space of surrender as you feel your spine curling forward, allowing your torso to slowly, slowly drift downwards towards your toes, towards the mat. When we come to these spaces of quiet, we tend to find a lot of resistance, sometimes in our bodies, sometimes in our minds. So instead of working against that resistance, just allow yourself to meet it, to see it. to forgive yourself for experiencing it. And then as best you can, whether you're chipping away a little tiny bit of gravel or removing a huge piece of that resistance, just let your exhale start that process, like turning stone into sand. So continue to melt your heart down. And you breathe out. And on your next inhale, very, very slowly. If your hands are around, your toes are up by your chin, start to walk your hands a little bit further up the legs and then back off to the side. We'll all meet here. Chin in towards your chest, fingers rooting towards the ground. With the next inhale, very slowly, unfurl the neck, lifting your head high. 
taking the hands, gently closing your knees in, sending your legs forward. So taking the blanket off of your knees and then roll or folding that rather. So unfolding that back into this square. So finding a square, folding that square over three times so that you have a little bit more of a firmer, more narrow contraction here. So if you are joining us and you are prenatal, particularly second or third trimester, this is where you're going to want to get um, a bolster. So either bolster, long couch pillow, or that rolled up version that we talked about, and place that up at a ramp. You're just gonna want some height. So for the rest of us, we're going to take this blanket and place that lengthwise along your mat. And then as you lift your knees, you're going to roll back and rest your shoulder blades against this blanket. Let your head rest against the ground. Open your arms out. So arms are either straight out or elbows are bent like goalposts. If you are up against your ramp, opening the arms out to the side. So knees are bent, either pressed up against the ceiling, or pressed up towards the ceiling rather. They can either be apart, they can be resting together. Listen to your hips, and then let your body do what it's asking for. So to bring your breath as you breathe in towards the center of your chest. Each time you breathe out, feel the breath gliding over the front of your chest, down towards the shoulders, down towards the elbows. Again, start to find this sense of gravity. That space at the bottom of your exhale. You feel your shoulders. You feel your elbows, the back of your hand, the back of your skull, rooting down towards the ground beneath you. The space of each exhale, we find surrender. We exit in air, rather than move. And let yourself travel deeper and deeper into what that feels like for you.
you are prenatal and you are up on your land very slowly. Allow your body to roll off to one side, taking the fetal position against the floor. Pausing there. For those of us who are not on the ramp, if your knees are together, so to point your knees high towards the ceiling, press into your heels, and then slowly begin to lift your hips high, chin in towards your chest. So you'll feel your shoulders which to roll down towards the ground. Taking your hands, very slowly sliding that rolled up blanket, that folded up blanket underneath the flat part of your lower back and your hips. And turning your arms either to goal posts, bending at the elbows, or arms open wide, arms straight, whatever feels best for you. Now feeling this reversal, the top half of the body that was lifted is now open and moving down. The bottom half that was restricted is now lifted and open. If you are prenatal, you can either stay in this fetal position against the floor, or you can join us here. Again, taking your bolster or rolled up blanket, sliding that underneath your hips, and just making sure that you have enough height so that you're not flat against the ground. You want the front of the body to not be flat. Finding the space of surrender at the bottom of each of your exhales. Feeling the ground expanding beneath you. The structure of your body more and more supported each time you do that. Breath in, keeping your eyes closed if you can. Start to reach for that strap, that belt, that tie, whatever you brought with you to practice today. And as you bring that into one of your hands, both of your hands, opening that up so you can find a sizable loop. Press into your hips, bringing your knees in towards your chest, so lifting your feet away from the floor. 
We're going to increase this upward motion by bringing the loop around the soles of your feet and then pressing your feet wide. With the grip of this strap, this belt is tied, be very, very gentle. Just feel this upward motion of your feet more like a suggestion rather than something you're forcing and pulling. So let this be soft, maybe sway a little bit from side to side. Again, feeling in the space at the bottom of your exhale. yourself be soft here. And this final reversal of We're completely letting go. Next exhale, bending your knees and very slowly feel the leg melting in, melting down, back into the supportive bridge pose. Pause for a moment. You can belt your strap, your tie off to the side. And then keeping your eyes closed as best you can. And then rolling off to one side, rolling off of this blanket, taking that and placing that in between your knees. Taking your bottom arm, sliding that underneath your head, using this bottom arm as a prop and a pillow. And then coming to rest your left, your top hand, whichever side you are, the top hand, right on your torso, right on your hip. Your inhale, reaching your arm high overhead, and lowering your arm down, resting over the shape of your soul. Keeps breathing against the floor, and the gentle rising and falling of your torso. Very slowly, keeping the blanket in between your knees, arms above your head, roll onto your back to the opposite side. And resting your head on your bottom arm, using the bottom arm as a prop. 
Reaching your top arm. Letting the rest of your skull relax. And the torso rising and following the rhythm of the Next breath in, very slowly return to your back against the floor. And then if you're prenatal, particularly second or third trimester, you're going to want to find that ramp again so that there's a little bit of an incline that you can rest against. For everybody else, opening up your blanket. Resting against the floor, we'll all find our way underneath our blanket or towel, whatever we brought with us to practice today. And reach back for your head with your hands, lift your head slightly, and then using your fingers, as if you could slide your Slide your scalp forward to your forehead. Tilt your chin down and then lower your head back down. Open the neck slightly. As your skull lowers, lift your shoulders, flatten your shoulder blades down against the ground. With each exhale, very slowly feel that sense, that seed of surrender at the bottom. Traveling deeper into this experience of surrender. Your sense of smell, your sense of sight, of touch, of sound, of taste. They all begin to blend together. Each time you breathe out, the meaning becomes forgotten. It's just one point of understanding. None of it's separate. All of the same.
Slowly rock your head from side to side. Very slowly, feel the extremities start to wake. Tips of the fingers on the way, tips of the thumb. Flexing and pointing. And either staying right here, and letting yourself finish out this practice in an extra long shavasana, which is recommended, or bringing your knees into your chest, rolling to one side, and pressing up to a seat. Moving your hands into heart center. And bowing down towards yourself, towards the practice, and towards each other. No. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Um, we hope to see you soon. Our next class is on Monday at noon. It will be yoga for flexibility. So we hope to see you then. Have a great night.